The heritage that God has promised to his people is not in this world. Abraham had no possession in the earth. No, not so much as to set his foot on. Acts 7:5. He possessed great substance and he used it to the glory of God and the good of his fellow men. But he did not look upon this world as his home. The Lord had called him to leave his idolatrous countrymen with the promise of the land of Canaan as an everlasting possession. Yet neither he nor his son nor his son's son received it. When Abraham desired a burial place for his dead, he had to buy it of the Canaanites. His sole possession in the land of promise was the rock-hewn tomb in the cave of Machpela. Written by Ellen G. White, taken from the book Patriarchs and Prophets, page 169. Dear friends, those that are attracted to worldly possessions are actuated by the spirit of Lot who lost all his possessions when Sodom and Gomorrah was burnt by God. But those who have the spirit of Abraham may be a pilgrim on earth, but surely has eternal wealth earned in heaven. Examine whose spirit you have. Is it the greedy earthly spirit of Lot or the selfless heavenly spirit of Abraham.